Hey everyone, welcome back. Did you just replace the system board on your HP machine? Are you seeing this annoying error message warning? Your system is not fully configured? Please contact HP support. Don't worry, you're not alone. I'm going to show you exactly how to fix that. It's super easy once you know what tools you need and the right steps to follow. Alright, first things first, you'll need a few things to get started. HP DMI tool or branding tool. A second device with an internet connection? Yeah, you'll need this to grab your DMI info. Don't worry, I'll walk you through it. Note, you might need to contact HP support or an authorized HP service provider to get the current version of the tool as it's not typically available for public download. Boot into the DMI tool. Power down your machine completely, then plug in your branding tool. Now boot into the tool. To do this, hit F9 to enter the boot menu. Configure audio. Once you're in, we need to configure the audio first. If this doesn't apply to your system, feel free to skip it. Select configure audio. You should get a confirmation saying your audio amplifier is successfully configured. Hit OK to proceed. Enter DMI information. On this screen, select system board configuration wizard. Now go ahead and click on enter DMI information you'll see fields for the date and time. You can set this now or later when you get into Windows, up to you. Enter serial number. The serial number is found on the service label of your device, often on the bottom cover. This label has important information about your device, such as the product name, product ID, serial number, and warranty period. Enter the serial number, then hit continue. On the next page, select your product's name. Enter product name extension. Fill in your product's name extension. Skip this part if it doesn't apply to you. Enter the SKU number. All right, next up, enter the SKU number. You'll find this right next to your serial number on the service label. But if for some reason you can't put it on the service label, no worries, you can grab it from HP Partsurfer instead. Find your build ID and feature byte. This next step is where things get a bit tricky but I'll make it easy for you. To find your build ID and feature byte, head over to HP Partsurfer on another device. Enter your device's serial number, then click Continue. Now, choose your product number from the drop-down and click Submit. Scroll down until you see the build ID and feature byte fields. We need these for the next steps. Enter build ID. Now populate this field with your build ID, hit enter. Key in your machine's feature byte, then hit enter. On the next page, click enter to keep the CT number. Commit DMI information. Time to save all the DMI information we entered in the previous steps. Select commit DMI data and lock in the changes. Lock Manufacturing Programming Mode MPM. Now, select Lock MPM, then Lock System Board and Reboot to finalize the process. Your device will reboot, and once it does, you should see a message confirming that your system board configuration is complete. Shut down your machine. Now shut down your machine using the shutdown button. 
This ensures that the DMI tool resets itself for future use. And that's it folks, you've successfully branded your system board, or as I like to call it, tattooed your system board. No more error messages, and your system is all set up. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more tech tips. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, I'll be happy to help you out.